Welcome to my life adventures. I'm the one and only Monica the Spirit Queen. I'm a professional psychic medium and a paranormal investigator. My crew and I lurk in the shadows at night hunting spirits and demons. I do readings, break black magic spells, travel, expose fake psychics, and have clients from around the world. I'm no nonsense when it comes to respect and honesty. I have a crazy busy life, but I love it. My family keeps me going with their love and support. I will never give up, no matter what demons I have to face. Welcome my Spirit Queen family. I have really exciting news for you. My YouTube channel is accepting special memberships to sponsor my videos. When you become a member by clicking the join button next to subscribe, you will be getting exclusive offers and special perks. For example, you'll be able to be the first ones to watch my videos with the links posted on my community page. I will give you personal shout outs to my haunted members every week. And for my demon members, you will get all of the above plus behind the scenes footage and bloopers of cut out scenes. And best of all, I will email you an autographed personalized photo of me. My videos contain spirituality tutorials, live readings, vlogs, surprise contacts, my podcast, exposing fake psychics, crazy adventures, paranormal investigations, and more. I also do live investigations and will take you along with me. With your monthly support, I will be able to continue to make great content and you get to interact with me directly. Those who are animal lovers and reptile lovers will get to see my private collection of snakes, lizards, turtles, chameleons, and more. So please join now and let's grow my channel and community together. I will also take you along with my shows I do. My Spirit Queen family will also learn secrets about spirituality and the paranormal. Members will also have a special badge next to their name anytime they comment on my live videos. So what are you waiting for? Click on that join button now and become part of the Spirit Queen family today. Hey guys, welcome back to Monica the Spirit Queen. About a week ago, we went to a cemetery, and we found something very unusual there. Now, before I get into that, I want to ask you guys something. Do you think it's a really good idea to keep a haunted item, especially one that you find in a very unusual place? And how haunted is that item? How do you know that this item is haunted, and what happens when you take it home? Well. If activities start to increase when you have a haunted item in your home and you bring it home, whether you find it or somebody gives it to you or you buy it online, it doesn't matter. How haunted is this item and how do you know if it is, is actually haunted? Now, one of the ways you could determine if it's haunted or not is if you start having activities in your home. For example, if your, your home is nice and quiet, and it doesn't have any spiritual activities, it doesn't have any weird things going on and then all of a sudden you bring that object home and then you start noticing little things happening here and there. It starts off with little things and then it starts to increase as time goes by because what happens is if the item is haunted it will start doing little things, little activities here and there but then as time goes by it will start enhancing energies around it it will start collecting energies in the home whether it's through water electricity or even people in the home and once it gets to that stage where the haunted item has charged up enough and has enough energy then it will increase the activities for example it will start running water electricity problems or you think it has electricity problems lights flickering on and off, water going on and off in the faucet, in the bathroom, in the kitchen, even the shower sometimes, doors opening and closing by themselves. It can also open a portal in your own home, multiple portals, not just one, and start inviting other attachments into your home. Also, it will haunt you in your dreams. Basically, when you go to sleep, for example, if you have never had a problem sleeping before and then all of a sudden you bring this haunted 
object home and then you start having a problem sleeping or you start having nightmares or you feel like something is constantly watching you that could be a problem that could be one of the signs or one of many signs that this object is indeed haunted and it does have some kind of an energy some kind of a spiritual attachment to it and now you and everybody else in the family is getting affected by it and I've had people contact me before where they said that things just start moving on its own they, they think they're going crazy because things are constantly getting misplaced when you have a haunted object those entities that are attached to those objects can be very mischievous they like to mess with you they like to mess with people and they can actually attack your health as well so be very careful of what you bring into your home what you trust into your home and whose words you trust of how safe this haunted object is if somebody gave this object to you or you bought it from them so there's many signs to look for but if you have a peaceful home I suggest to leave the haunted objects out of your home do not bring it into your house do not engage with it because all it takes is just one time of giving attention to this haunted object and whatever is attached to this object is definitely going to get attached to you so I just wanted to get that out of the way to let you guys know the difference and the signs to look for if you do bring a haunted object home I suggest people that are professionals and experts on the paranormal and spirituality to handle those kind of objects when they bring it home. It could be a doll, it could be a chair, it could be a piece of furniture, it could be even an animal. Animals do get possessed too. Be very careful what you bring into your home. Now let's move on to this haunted object that we found at the cemetery about a week ago. We went to the cemetery. We have been there a couple of times last year and I call it the Satanic Cemetery. Go back to my videos, click on the Satanic Cemetery. In fact, when I went live last week when we discovered this particular item that is haunted everybody was going crazy and and everybody was telling me don't touch it Monica don't touch it and not only did I touch it but I decided to bring it home so was that the right thing for me to do was bring home a haunted object where I have no idea at the moment when I was bringing it home what the history of that object was was it safe was it smart of me to bring it home well put it this way it's not smart of anybody to bring home a haunted object if they don't know the background of that object they don't know where it came from they don't know what's attached to it they just blindly bring it home I don't think that's the smartest and the safest thing to do but at the same time I can't compare myself to everybody else because I get to the bottom of haunted objects and I figure it out and I fix it or I take care of it or and I am able to contain it but this is a crazy part what happened between myself and this haunted object is absolutely no joke and the reason why I decided to bring this object into my home and to analyze it to look into it is because I found it very interesting the way we found this object was at the cemetery, like I said, the Satanic Cemetery, which there's always a witch that attaches herself to me every time I go there. She jumps on my shoulder. She's walking around with me. Last year, I did a couple of videos over there, and I kept getting requests of many of you that kept sending me back to the same location because you guys were so interested. We found a lot of dead birds there in boxes and in bags tied up with their heads cut off, and they do that for sacrificial reasons. So I know that the cemetery, it's really crazy. I mean, when we went back last week, it was the first time this year the energy had shifted tremendously from being dark to worse. I mean, it, it's, it was the darkest of the darkest, especially what we stumbled upon on was very intense and very crazy. I suggest you to be a member so you can go back and, and watch that video from the beginning when we first arrived and how we stumbled upon that grave site and what we found on it it was crazy go back to my channel to my videos and watch what I'm talking about during this live investigation and that's where we were led to this one particular gravesite what we stumbled upon was a bunch of candles and one of the candles had just been recently turned on the wax was still wet and it was hot so that means you know somebody or a couple of people or whoever was 
there moments before we arrived and have done the satanic ritual and had left these items behind. Another item we found was this rock or the stone in the shape of a skull. Now, I know everything about spirituality. People come up with new rituals all the time, new symbols, and I study them. I study all the new ones. And then here is this doll, this creepy looking doll. I haven't named her, so in the comments, just let me know what you guys think I should name this doll. This doll had a Ouija board drawn on her face and her forehead. And you can clearly tell that it was some kind of a satanic ritual that was been done. I did not get a very good vibe when I arrived at that. And in fact, my husband is the one that stumbled upon that gravesite. And then he freaked out. He called me over when I went there to, ch to check out what's going on. Something had grabbed my ankle and twisted my ankle to where I fell down and I couldn't move for a little bit. One of the attachments to that doll was basically trying to pin me down to sit down and talk to them and did not want me to go anywhere without noticing that doll and what's going on at that gravesite. Ever since I brought that doll home, I'd like to know more information about that doll. I noticed the very next day she started affecting my health. Now, when it comes to black magic spells and other people trying to do black magic spells, to me that's a joke because it doesn't stick, it doesn't affect me, it doesn't do anything to me. I just send it back to you and then you eat your own shit. But whatever entity that's attached to it, still trying to hide from me, it started to come out a little bit in the last day or so. So I've been able to communicate it with a little bit more and, and start getting more information, which that's going to be in a later video. As far as the activities going on, so it was affecting my health and I was not too happy with it. But at the same time, I, I know how to contain the situation and how to fix myself and how to fix whatever this doll is trying to do to me. For some reason, she is, has targeted me and that's understandable because I can directly communicate back with this doll or this entity that's possessing this doll. And I do understand that. So I can't, I can't even get mad at the doll because I'm the one that brought it home. I have been getting flashes of certain things this doll has been showing me. Again, that's going to be in the next video, more details. And the reason why I'm saying the next video is because I want to, in the next podcast as well, I want to make sure I get as much detail as I possibly can and just give you guys the full story on this doll. Just an update, a lot of you guys wanted to know. Yes, this doll is haunted. Yes, this doll has a spiritual attachment to it. In fact, I've been picking up a second spiritual attachment to this doll, a second demonic entity attached to this doll and slowly pulling it out, communicating, slowly bringing them out, talking to them, trying to befriend them a little bit just to get their story out and see what's going on. And then eventually, once I'm done with it, I can either put this doll on auction. You crazy ones out there that are paranormal enthusiast and wants a haunted item, a haunted doll, I could put it on auction and sell it or I can open up a portal, push these entities through, clear the doll and it will no longer be haunted. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it yet. It just depends how powerful these entities are that are attached to it, that are possessing it. Yes, it has moved a few times in my home and it, it has created some activities, but again, I am able to contain the situation. It to where I'm not going to let it escalate to be dangerous. This is not my first rodeo and it's not going to be my last. I've been doing this for pretty much all my life when it comes to entities and spirituality and the paranormal. So I know how to handle situations like this. So for those of you who wanted to know and kept asking me this past week if this doll is haunted. The answer is yes. This doll is haunted. She has her own room and it's sealed and she cannot come out no matter what so she won't be able to affect anybody else. She is very mischievous though so I don't trust her with anybody else. That's why she's in a confined place in her own room that's sealed and she cannot come out but she is not affecting and will not be able to affect anybody else. I love you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share and support my podcast as well as my channel. Channel, click that join button become a member because I have a lot more exclusive videos that are coming soon and I'll see you guys next time